Hey everyone, it's Carissa Wiley at sprinkledwithglitter.com. Thanks for joining me today. I am back today with some more Concord and Ninth holiday card inspiration. This time I'm featuring the Nordic Noel die set along with the plaid turnabout stamp. Now, if you did not catch my tutorial on the plaid turnabout stamp, I'm gonna link it in a card in the upper right hand corner. I created this tone on tone plaid background and I'm gonna be using that in today's card, but I wanted to really take a good look at this Nordic Noel die set. Now this features several dies, one of which is kind of a base layer or a shadow layer. And then we have some detail layers, but I'm gonna show you how you can alter this die cut to create a horizontal style card instead of a stacked up die cut sentiment. So I'm taking the detail layers and I'm die cutting them from four colors of cardstock. I'm starting with evergreen and then I'm going to use ballet slipper, poppy, and sea glass cardstock. All of these are Concord and Ninth cardstock colors and I thought this was a fun, unexpected color combination for the holidays. Now I die cut the shadow or the base layer from Concord and Ninth white cardstock twice, and I'm die cutting each of these colors of cardstock just once. And you can see the N and the O are a single die cut, and the E and the L are a single die cut. And that's because this is really a stacked up die cut. Now in addition to the Noel dies, you also get some dies that create like the little dots that go inside of these knockouts, the little tulips, and the leaves. So you can die cut several of those tulips, several of those leaves, or several of those dots all at once using this die set as well. So now I have my two colors of each of these die cuts, and I am going to use some temporary adhesive to adhere one on top of the other. And that's because I want my cut line to be in exactly the same place on both colors of cardstock. That's gonna make it easier to kind of nestle them together on the base piece. So I'm just using a little temporary tape runner adhesive, adhering those two layers together and then taking them over to my trimmer and just trimming between the letters. Now the cut lines are in the exact same place on both colors and these will nestle together nicely. I'm gonna repeat that on the N and the O once again, just trimming those letters apart. And this wire guide trimmer is really helpful for this process because I can tell exactly where my cut line is going to be. Now I also need to trim my base layer to trim this word apart because it's in a stacked orientation now and I wanna use it horizontally across a slimline card or a mini slimline card. So once again, just using the wire of my wire guide trimmer to guide me in where I'm going to cut this. And now I have a kind of altered die cut here that I can use in a different orientation. Now to add a little bit of dimension behind these die cut letters, I did die cut those detail pieces once from for the N and the O and twice for the E and the L. So the E and the L are gonna sit up just slightly higher than the N and the O. I didn't wanna put them on the same plane because they are gonna overlap and I didn't want it to get weird and bulky in the area where it did overlap. So now it's time to make my mini slimline card base and I'm taking some Concord and Ninth white cardstock I'm cutting it to six and a half inches by six and a quarter inches. And then I'm gonna take it over to my scoreboard and along the six and a half inch edge, I'm going to score at three and a quarter. This will give me a finished card base that measures three and a quarter by six and a quarter inches. This is a really fun size card because it fits cash or a check just perfectly. I don't know, am I the only one who still writes checks? <laughs> I'm not sure, there's probably some people out there who are still writing checks with me, um, but there's probably not many left. I like to give cash rather than a gift card. I just, I don't, I don't know, it's still not personal, but it just makes me feel better. <laughs> like I made some effort to go to the bank. So now I am trimming down my tone on tone white plaid panel that I created with the plaid turnabout and I'm also trimming down some Concord and Ninth gold cardstock. So I think I cut this to five and three quarter inches by three inches. And this white plaid piece, I believe, is two and three quarter inches by five and a half inches. 
I'm gonna layer those up using just a little bit of tape runner adhesive. And then I'm gonna adhere this entire thing down onto my mini slimline card base right there in the center. Now I can grab my shadow or my base layer pieces and I'm gonna start adhering these on top of those layers. And when I add this onto my card base, that flat line of the N at the top and the side of the N, I'm going to line up with the edge of my card base. So this base is actually hanging off of the layers that are underneath it. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with the E and the L. They're gonna overlap the N and the O a little bit, but you see that lower right-hand corner of the L? I'm lining that up with the edge of my card base. Then I'm gonna add a couple acrylic blocks on top of it to kind of help it adhere while it dries since it's going over a couple of different layers. And now I can start adding my colored pieces onto the base. So this E and L are gonna overlap that O. And in order to keep it from getting too bulky, I'm just gonna trim off the part of the E that would overlap with the O. So that way I don't have all of these layers overlapping. And then I'm gonna start adding my liquid glue to the back and add this onto the base. Now remember, on this N and O, there is one layer of white cardstock behind the colored cardstock pieces. I'm going to then add on the E and the L. This is a double layer of white cardstock that I'm adding onto the base. And I've trimmed off that little piece where it would overlap with the E. And now I can add the colored E and L. So once again, I'm just adding a little bit of liquid glue behind my colored cardstock pieces. I'm going to line that up with the stacked up white cardstock below it. And this E I'm going to add right over the top of the O. So it does overlap the O, but it's only the single layer of cardstock that overlaps. So this all kind of fits together really nicely. And while it dries, I'll just add some acrylic blocks on top. Now I'm gonna take the negative pieces of the white cardstock that I die cut earlier to kind of layer up behind it. And I'm gonna nestle those white pieces just into the areas where that green is showing through on that red letter. I just didn't want the green showing through on the red. It just bugged me, I don't know why. <laughs> so then I used the die from the die set that cuts all the little dots out and I die cut that from some gold cardstock and I added those pieces into those bigger polka dots on the letters. And that finishes off my card for today featuring the Nordic Noel die set. I think this is so fun. It looks like a really simple card and it is, but there are a lot of steps and there's so much more to it when you really start to look at it with its varying layers of dimension, the little pops of gold and that tone on tone white plaid in the background. And I love the way this card turned out. Now, as always, I will have links to the featured products used in this project in the description at YouTube. So if you're looking for something in particular, be sure you check there. Or you can head on over to my blog at sprinkledwithglitter.com. I will have that linked below as well. Over there, you'll find more still shots, more information, and a complete list of supplies. As always, thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this project, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications here on my YouTube channel so you don't miss any of my paper crafting and card making video tutorials. Thanks again for watching. I'm so glad you're here. And until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day.